no fellow mutants. Welcome back to another video. In this video, well, you guys probably know by now. If you guys been on my channel for X amount of months at the very least, that I am a huge. I love the Karate Kid films. I I love the Daniel LaRusso trilogy. I had loved the Hillary Swank. A movie. I also enjoyed all five seasons of Cobra Kai that has been released by as of the time of this um, recording, and I am very much looking forward to the sixth and final season of Cobra Kai. And I'm gonna be sad when Cobra Kai ends, but also happy as well because, like, I feel like some shows drag on a bit too long. Um, for their sake, there's some shows who, like, there's been a few times when shows should have ended, but they didn't. So, like, I'm happy that Cobra Kai isn't falling into that trap and, um, is ending with season six. But also, at the same time, kind of sad too, because I love the universe. But I can't, like, spinch was all six seasons, right? By the time six, the sixth season rolls around, right? Which, by the way, that would be a cool Christmas last for the person if any of y'all gave me any DVD Blu-ray sets of the Cobra Kai series, because I still love that. Thanks. Thank you, boo-boo. Anyways, um, why am I making this video that I'm talking about Cobra Kai and the Miyagi first, as they call it? Well, because I saw this article. I saw this article. And it says, um... Cobra Kai creator teases return of Karate Kid franchise character. And you guys could probably tell um, by this little line over here that I highlighted. And I've been saying this. I've been using this argument for like about a year now, if not a little bit longer. Or at least I've been like pressing harder with this point for like at least the past year. <laughs> that I think. Hillary Swank, Julie Pierce to make a cameo in Cor uh, the Cor Cobra Kai show. Every major Cry Kid character um, made a, some sort of guest appearance in the Cobra Kai sh uh, show. I've not had a reference made to them. Except for Julie Pierce. Except for Julie Pierce. I love Julie Pierce. I feel like she is vastly underrated. Sure, the next Karate Kid film is not as good as the Th Daniel LaRusso trilogy. I will give you guys that. I will gladly give you guys that. But it's way better than the Jaden Smith wannabe Karate Kid film. It's. And the next Karate Kid film. Say what you want about it, but it is a lot better than a lot of these movies that are coming out nowadays. And I will die on the hill. Cry the next Cry Kid might not be the best Cry Kid film, but it's still decent. It still holds up. Hillary Swank uh, isn't was awesome in the next Cry Kid. Julie Pierce is severely underrated. Severely underrated, in my opinion. 
anyways, let's actually get into the article because we were like five minutes into this. <laughs> so later this year, Cobra Kai is returning to Netflix for its sixth and final season. Last year, Netflix shared their first tease to the upcoming season of the Cry Kids sequel series. And now that Ralph, uh, now that the show's creator is teasing an exciting cameo, Cobra Kai stars original Cry Kid actors Ralph Machio, who played Daddy on the Russo, and Liam Sabak, who played Johnny Lawrence. And the show has featured other uh, actors from the Cry Kid films. And, which is true. And, like, I really like how, like, in the, spoiler alert to the fifth season, I really do like how, like, they got kind of teased this in season, like, I want to say, like, two, but really so in season four that they redeemed, like, Chosen was redeemed. Like, he was a pain in the ass. He was a dick in Cry Kid Part 2. But... We see that Chosen, in, really in Cobra Kai Season 4, that Chosen is, has grown up. He has changed for the better. Mike Barnes was even season, Cobra Kai Season like 5. And I'm sorry, I'm at 5, not 4 exactly. But even in uh, Cobra Kai Season 5, Mike Barnes has grown into becoming a better person. And in the duration of the old five seasons, Oh, Cobra Kai. We saw Johnny Lawrence, who was Daniel LaRusso's bully in the first film. Start out from, like, being this asshole. I mean, still be told he still has his asshole tendencies. But he has, like, become a bit more human. So I do like how those three characters got their redemption arcs, right? I like how those three characters were in the movie. A uh, series. Where the hell is Sully Pierce at, y'all? <laughs> I've been begging you guys. And you guys, like, I, she doesn't even have to fight. She, as, like, Hillary Swank just got preg like pregnant last year. I think she, like, gave birth already. I don't know the time frame. But, but you can even use the whole, like, she being a real-life mom to influence where Julia Pierce is go going. Hollywood wants to like like try to like put it real life stuff into like Hollywood. This would be one of the things that you can actually use real life stuff to inspire your where you take Julie Pierce at. You can have Julie Pierce with a guy that she was hanging out with in the next Karate Kills, I forget the character's name. They got together whether you want that guy to come back or not, up to you guys, of course. And have her be like a mom. Maybe like, at least take a picture with her, the guy, and their uh, kids. Boom. To say, yeah, these are my kids. I'm really a proud mom. Maybe um, Daniel is like going through a midlife life crisis. And since... Um, Julie Pierce is the closest thing in universe that we saw that was trained by Mr. Miyagi. Maybe through Julie we can get some Mr. Miyagi magic. Mr. Miyagi wisdom. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Anyways. <laughs> I'll stop ranting and let's go on. In a recent tweet, John Hurwitz addressed a fan asking if Hillary Swank, who played Julie Pierce in the next Cry Kid, will be Shopping up in Cobra Kai. Quote unquote, without naming, without naming names, how likely are we to get a new appearance from one of the four Cry Kid, um, kid movies? I can't promise that, that Hulk or any Oscar winners in this um, photo. I will never give potential spoilers, but Russia Sure will have at least one character from the Cry Kid films. Returning that hasn't yet appeared in Cobra Kai. Oh, so it says, um, can I promise? Yeah, okay. Of course, they made Julie Pierce. Of course, they met Julie Pierce. So they're not really like confirming nor denying uh, Hillary Swank's involvement. 
And like I said, I am amongst the few, I feel like, that really thoroughly enjoys the next Cry Kid. And and really likes uh Hillary Swank's character in the next Cry Kid film. Sure she is like a she's a, like an annoying asshole towards the beginning of the film. I'm sure you can say throughout the film she's still somewhat annoying. But we you see the character development that she goes through with Miss Miyagi through the beginning of the movie towards the end. I really enjoy it. The fighting the next Cry Kid could have been better. But I really enjoyed the next Cry Kid, to be honest. Anyways, quote unquote, all we can say about her is we love Hilary Swank for its told fandom in 2022. We think she's a phenomenal actress and we love her character in the franchise. She was taught by Mr. Miyake and she's somebody who is important to the, to the Cry Kid universe. We can't say if she'll return. We can't say how she would return if she was going to return. Maybe we can say that we talk about her and maybe we've met her. Maybe we've worked with her. Maybe we haven't. We can't tell you anything. It's going to continue to be a question to either she shows up or the series ends and we welcome the question every time. Which, again, that kind of, like, that's them, like, not confirming or denying that she's going to be in there. They, like, teasing, like, it may, she could be in season six, but she could not be, which I'm, which I'm liking the direction that they're going with. They're not confirming or denying. Personally, like I said, I you know, I really love Hilary Swank's portrait, like, Julie Pierce. I would love to see her in Cobra Kai season six. She doesn't even have to fight. Like, she could just, like, be simply, like, giving her, uh, Daniel some wisdom that Julie may feel like Mr. Miyake would impart onto Daniel and her. She, essentially being the Master Yoda of the, um, to look Skywalker in the Phantom in, um, Empire Strikes Back type deal. Now we we'll really do any fighting, just giving wisdom. And, and who knows, maybe even, like, teaching Daniel a new move. Who knows that Mr. Miyagi taught her, but never taught Daniel. Who knows? But like I said, I think having um, Hillary Swank as like to make a um, comeback, come a comeback, will be brilliant, and that will make me extremely excited. I will nerd the hell out. That uh, am I like I might have to watch like what I did with the previous five seasons and watch the season by myself and then watch it again with my dad because like I will nerd the hell out <laughs> if Hillary if I ever saw Hillary Swank being in Cobra Kai I'm just being I'm just being real with you guys. Well, that said, love you guys. Let, let me know how you guys feel about this. Would you guys be open to having Julie Pierce coming into Cobra Kai Season 6? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind of one another. I will talk to you fellow mutants later.